The Ottoman Empire was one of the most powerful and influential states in the world for over six centuries. Behind the scenes of this mighty empire, there was a period when women played a significant role in shaping its politics, society, and culture. This period is known as the Sultanate of Women, which lasted from roughly 1533 to 1656. The Sultanate of Women began with the marriage of Suleiman the Magnificent, the 10th and longest reigning Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, to Hurem Sultan, a former slave girl from Ukraine. Hurem Sultan, also known as Roxalana, was not only Suleiman's favorite wife, but also his trusted advisor and partner. She broke the tradition of the Sultan having multiple concubines and sending his sons to govern provinces with their mothers. Instead, she persuaded Suleiman to keep his sons close to him in the palace and to free her from slavery and marry her legally. Hurem Sultan was the first woman to be honored with the title of Haseki Sultan, which means chief consort or single favorite of the Sultan. She was involved in diplomatic relations with foreign powers, such as Poland, France, and Iran. She also supported Suleiman's reforms in law, education, and taxation. After Hurem Sultan's death in 1558, her daughter Mihrima Sultan continued her legacy as a powerful patroness of arts and sciences. Mihrima Sultan had a close relationship with her father and mother, and played an important role in helping her brother Salim and her nephew Murad to ascend to the throne. She lent them money and advice. She possessed a vast fortune. She commissioned two mosques in Istanbul, both designed by the famous architect Sinan and supported various projects in Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem. The most prominent woman in the Ottoman Empire after Hurem Sultan was Kosem Sultan, who was the wife of Ahmed and the mother of Sultans Murad and Ibrahim. She was also the grandmother of Mehmed IV, whom she raised and guided as his regent for nine years. Kosem Sultan was the longest serving Valida Sultan, which means mother of the Sultan. She wielded enormous power and authority during the turbulent times of the 17th century. She intervened in state affairs, appointed and dismissed grand viziers, negotiated with foreign envoys, and amassed a great fortune. The Sultanate of Women ended with the death of Turhan Sultan in 1683. She was the wife of Ibrahim and the mother of Mehmed Faor. She faced a power struggle with her mother-in-law, Kusem Sultan, who was the previous Valid Sultan and wanted to retain her influence. Turan managed to eliminate Kosem and her supporters in 1651 and became the sole Valid Sultan. She was the last woman to act as a regent for her son until he came of age. She died shortly after the Ottoman defeat at Vienna, which marked the beginning of the decline of the empire. The Sultanate of Women was a remarkable period in Ottoman history when women rose from slavery to royalty and from obscurity to fame. They left behind a lasting legacy of achievements in politics, society, culture, and philanthropy. They were not only wives and mothers of sultans, but also secret rulers of an empire that spanned three continents and ruled over diverse peoples and cultures.